Oh hey internet, what is up? Welcome back to the Type QQ channel and welcome back to some more Kaiken. I think we have kind of gone through the uh, ships, aside from the fire ship, um, off, uh, off the channel I tried out the fire ship and I really, really did not like it. It was one of those ships that had like a certain arcs of fire that kind of went in you know, different directions and the more pickups you picked up, the more different arcs, but I found it very hard, um, very hard ship to use. I'm sure it has its uses, you know, in particular levels or against particular enemies. It just wasn't for me. So with that, we're going back to Wide Shot and see if we can do, uh, you know, do a little better than we had in the past, or just to see um, how things work. You know, now that we've kind of experienced the game a few times and gone through the sort of um, selection of ships. Um, yeah, we'll, see, we'll we'll check out how how well things go. I'm coming back to some of the original ones that we tried out to begin with. I mean, of all the ships I've tried, there are sort of pros and cons to all of them that I want or that I really like. You know, I think White Shot is particularly good just for its obvious, like, sort of big swath of damage. Um, and how, like, there's not going to be too many, like, um, Hidden, hidden points on the uh, on the ground that not, we're not going to be able to find. You know, we're going we're to be covering everything. So when it comes for like uh, secrets, you know, this game is not going to keep too many of them away from us. However, it's not really the most damaging one, but you do can focus it in and, and deal a good amount of damage. See, there's the uh, one of the secret bonus point things. Um, the other ones I've considered using is the uh, Napalm. Napalm's great, as well as the Burst, I think, or the Blast. I forget now. But it's, the, it's essentially the Smoke one. One that, one that gives you the, uh, the Black Fire that comes out. Um, as much as I am like, kind of a homie whore sometimes, and I love uh, the homie, I don't think... Um, it really does a lot of damage, and it's kind of a slow attack as well, so, um, you know, despite the fact that, you know, it's kind of good to use a homing item and then just kind of sit back and play defense, you know, you get the same effect with a lot of these other ships that do massive amounts of damage. Um, so you don't really need the homing effect when you, you, you know, can kind of just blast on everything. And also, um, now that we're kind of playing our, um, uh, Playing for keeps, as it were, now, and not necessarily um, just testing out things. We are going to play our hand and attempt to um, milk some of these bosses. And not necessarily um, wait for their largest attack to kill them, but to at least wait um, for when they are attack attacking and then killing them. So maybe not the most milk um, milking imaginable, but at least better than what we have been. A uh, skim milk, if you may, you know. You know, I think as long as we're, you know, beating our high score, that's all that really matters. Um, so right now we have a, what is that, a 43 mil to beat. Pretty bad dodge there. Um, and overall, when it comes to this video, um, it's not the prettiest video ever. However, um, you know, the, the good news is, is that we are going to get a little bit further and we are going to beat our high score. Um, so that's good, but, um, yeah could have really been a lot better. Um, what I do like about um, the wide shot, or maybe a lot of other really great ships in this game, is that when you play for survival and you lose your auto bomb, um, like we did there, again for like the second time this, at this, this level, it does take a good... Um, a good whack at all these enemies clears them up and we're able to kind of recover that autobahn rather quickly so it looks like maybe there it is we're, we're, we're back and protected with that sort of buffer shield I guess the scarier points uh, of this game now is that if you get hit during the boss um, and then 
kill the boss, make it to the next level, you know, you're, you're pretty well exposed to get killed. Um, and that really tends, tends to be a, uh, a, uh, a trend that, you know, which is um, something we really ought to buck and just kind of um, buckle down on some of these bosses and um, not fall for that mistake. Second level boss here. Certainly not one of the hardest or harder ones, especially when you can get this dead spot right down here and then just unleash hell. Sitting on the boss with uh, rank A. Picked up both of those. Um, oh, that's pretty sad. We were just discussing that as well, where you know you don't want to finish off a boss while he's. Um, you don't want to finish off a boss while you um, lost your auto bomb. So now we're going into the you know the next level, level three, uh, just like I said, um, without a sort of buffer, without much protection, and rank G for that matter as well, which is pretty sad. Um, and this has always been kind of one of those levels that has been able to sneak a life out of us here and there. So um, we certainly don't want to meet it halfway. Luckily, we just recovered that um, auto bomb right there. Getting real kind of pushed in that corner for some reason. I think that's something to remember: is not to be afraid of using the focus fire on um, tank your enemies, maybe even tanks for that matter, as well as Jesus Christ. But there's one thing to look forward to, or a couple things really. There's a moment in the uh, passing this river here that's pretty tricky. Um, and then just after it, there's a moment where you can pick up a free life. Yeah, there it is right there. They just So, like, maybe uh, a couple strikes right there. Not only do we get killed crossing the river, but there wasn't an, uh, an extend underneath that rock, so we'll have to figure out what um, what decides uh, whether or not there's an, a one-up underneath that rock or not. It might be just the fact of like having a high item rank and not being not being killed across the river. It could be just that simple. to the uh, level 3 boss. With some of the trickier patterns, there's one particular attack that he opens up with, which is an absolute knuckleball that I'm just like, I'm not even sure what to do. I can't even look at that and, and parse what, what exactly the pattern is. And kind of flustered, we just kind of throw away both lives on this, on this level. I'm able to pick up some of the uh, um, bonus points, but at rank G, you know, what are they worth? They're worth like pennies. Luckily, starting with this fresh life, we do have our auto bomb there, kind of preserving this final life that uh, we hope kind of brings us further into the game. But um, yeah, a lot of s stupid, silly mistakes, not really doing ourselves any favors. There it is. There goes our auto bomb. 
hopefully we can co recover that rather quickly. That's a nice big mass of metals. There it is. Luckily, very quickly, pick that up. Kind of in the right place at the right time to kind of get hit if there really is one. We also might be seeing that sometimes in these later levels, maybe like, you know, level 3 on, that wide shot really isn't going to be strong enough to really take down the enemies that we, that we want in a timely manner. You know, it's nice to pick up, uh, you know, the bonus points things and the, uh, there goes our auto bomb. It'd be nice to pick up the auto bo uh, the, the uh, bonus points and kill off the little, little enemies, but the big guys, like so, uh, might be t difficult to take down in a timely manner without them shooting us to bits, you know. So, high score now uh, is 47,000 for us. Um, we got just inches further, but hey, it's, it's improvement uh, at the very least. But that's going to be it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, do all that stuff. And we'll play some more Kaiken in the future.